Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn English with Kevin. In today's video, we are going to watch Emily talking about her husband. After that, we're going to learn the new vocabulary introduced in this lesson and practice our listening and speaking skills. This video is a great opportunity for you to learn new vocabulary related to relationship and daily life. Listen carefully. My husband William. This is my husband William. We live in a quiet street in Swiss Cottage in northwest London. Every morning, my husband is in charge of brewing us a good and hot coffee and making my favorite toast with strawberry jam, while I scroll through my phone checking the latest funny videos that my friend sent me. We always sit by the TV while having coffee and toast, but that is not our real breakfast per se, because soon I will be craving for some eggs, and while he does all the real work, I pretend to help out. While he does the dishes, I get ready to work. Before I leave, it is time to kiss him goodbye because I've got to go to work while he stays at home. William works mostly from home and he barely needs to go to his company's office in South Bank. On the other hand, I need to catch a bus to reach work and spend a great amount of time in the chaotic traffic in London. Since my husband is working from home, he is in charge of the house chores during his breaks. His first duty is to make the bed, a fairly easy task compared to what comes next. The next chore is laundry. Incorporating laundry into a daily routine can help distribute the workload, preventing the need for marathon laundry sessions on the weekend. During the winter months, we've got to use the dryer. However, when there is sun outside, we prefer to hang our clothes outside. Meanwhile, whenever needed, he goes to the supermarket for some groceries. And I have the impression that he really likes doing it. I believe it is his favorite pastime. But for fruits and vegetables, going to the local farmer's market is the best choice where we can find fresh products every day. Back home, he needs to fold the clothes and organize the sock drawer. He also irons the clothes that have lots of wrinkles because I don't like them on my clothes. He always cooks lunch, and that's what I'm going to have for dinner. Although he makes a big mess while he's cooking, when I get home the kitchen is spotless. One of his regular chores is to clean the bathroom, and it's not an easy task because my hair often ends up in the drain. He always cleans the floor, removing all the dust and hair. He recently bought a new video game, but I think he rarely has time to play it. After a long and tiring day at work, it's always a good feeling to get home and have this sense of cleanness. Now is the time to enjoy some nice dinner that he prepared earlier. And I'm sure he will be doing the dishes too and tomorrow it can start all over again. Now, let's understand some important vocabulary introduced in this video. In charge of is a phrase that typically indicates responsibility, authority, or control over a particular task, project, department, or situation. To scroll through typically refers to the action of moving content on a digital screen, such as a web page or document, either up or down. Latest refers to the most recent or newest in a sequence of events, developments, products, information, or occurrences. Per se is a Latin term that is commonly used in English, often employed to clarify that the statement is not meant to be taken in a broader or more general sense. To be craving something means to have an intense desire or longing for a particular thing, 
experience or substance. Cravings are often associated with a strong urge or appetite for something specific. Pretend is a verb that means to act or behave in a way that gives a false appearance, often with the intention of deceiving or creating a make-believe scenario. Mostly is an adverb that indicates a high degree of frequency, extent, or predominance. When used in a sentence, barely suggests that whatever is being described is close to not happening or is just above the threshold of occurrence. On the other hand is a transitional phrase used to introduce an alternative or contrasting point of view, opinion, or perspective. It is often employed to present a different side of an argument. House chores refer to the routine tasks and responsibilities that need to be performed to maintain a clean, organized, and functional household. Fairly easy is a phrase used to describe something that is moderately or reasonably easy to do. Meanwhile is an adverb that is used to indicate a period of time between two events or actions. In a general sense, a mess can refer to a state of disorder, untidiness, or confusion. For example, a messy room may have items scattered around in an untidy manner. Spotless is an adjective used to describe something that is perfectly clean and free from any spots, stains, or blemishes. Rarely is an adverb that indicates infrequency or a low occurrence of something. When an action or event happens rarely, it means it occurs only on rare occasions or with a low frequency. Cleanliness refers to the state of being clean, free from dirt, impurities, or unwanted substances. The phrase all over again is an idiom that means to repeat a process or experience from the beginning. Now, let's practice what we learned. Listen to the sentence twice and repeat. We live in a quiet street in Swiss Cottage. We live in a quiet street in Swiss Cottage. Every morning, my husband prepares breakfast. Every morning, my husband prepares breakfast. I always spend some time scrolling through my phone. I always spend some time scrolling through my phone. I always check the latest videos. I always check the latest videos. We always sit by the TV while having coffee and toast. We always sit by the TV while having coffee and toast. In the mornings, I'm always craving some eggs. In the mornings, I'm always craving some eggs. While he cooks, I always pretend to help. While he cooks, I always pretend to help. William works mostly from home, and he barely needs to go to the office. William works mostly from home, and he barely needs to go to the office. On the other hand, I need to catch a bus to reach work. On the other hand, I need to catch a bus to reach work. I always spend a great amount of time in the chaotic traffic in London. I always spend a great amount of time in the chaotic traffic in London.
My husband is in charge of the house chores. My husband is in charge of the house chores. A fairly easy task is to make the bed. A fairly easy task is to make the bed. He consistently handle the laundry. He consistently handle the laundry. During the winter months, we've got to use the dryer. During the winter months, we've got to use the dryer. We hang our clothes outside when the sun is shining. We hang our clothes outside when the sun is shining. Meanwhile, whenever he needs to, he goes to the supermarket. Meanwhile, whenever he needs to, he goes to the supermarket. I get the impression that he likes to go to the supermarket. I get the impression that he likes to go to the supermarket. For fresh fruits and vegetables, he goes to the local farmer's market. For fresh fruits and vegetables, he goes to the local farmer's market. He needs to fold the clothes and organize the sock drawer. He needs to fold the clothes and organize the sock drawer. He irons clothes with wrinkles. He irons clothes with wrinkles. When he cooks, the kitchen is always a mess. When he cooks, the kitchen is always a mess. I always find the kitchen spotless. I always find the kitchen spotless. My hair often ends up in the drain. My hair often ends up in the drain. He rarely has time to play video game. He rarely has time to play video game. It's always a good feeling to get home and have this sense of cleanliness. It's always a good feeling to get home and have this sense of cleanliness. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Thank you.